Jiva Goswami says that that Gokula, where we are, this earthly, so-called earthly Vrindavan, Boma Vrindavan, <clears throat> and that Vrindavan and the, the spiritual sky, Goloka Vrindavan, that they are the same, but there are some differences, which is all part of a Chincha Veda Veda Tattva, of course. So, some differences are, in Goloka, there are no real demons. Of course, how can there be real demons, actual demons? There are no real demons in Goloka. Here, sometimes you get some real demons. So that's a difference. Then, here, Krishna apparently takes birth. And not exactly that he takes birth as such, but it's like that. But in Goloka, he never took birth or even anything like taking birth. He's just always been there. So that's a difference. Then in uh, Gokula, this Boma Vrindavan, some of the gopis have husbands. Uh, so th that's another difference. In, well, in Goloka, there are no husbands. There are only rumors. Then there's another difference. And this is very important difference and very relevant to us. That this Vrindavan, Boma Vrindavan, the earthly Vrindavan, can be approached by imperfect devotees. Has to be devotees, but imperfect devotees devotees like us who are trying to become qualified and trying to become real devotees but still we have not really attained that standard we're just practicing and learning not perfect but goloka can only be approached by perfect devotees anybody else it is there's no question so it's a very merciful place Vrindavan Dham. Radharaman Maharaj then explains some of the history of Badrina. One, one day, Shiva and Parvati, they are going to take bath in Gauri Kund. We will go there. They are going to take bath in Gauri Kund. And then Lord Vishnu become a child, three, four years child. And on the middle, in the middle of forest, he was crying. And then Lord Shiva saw that boy, in excess of place. How come that a small boy come in this forest? So he was in a place, he was some doubtful about the, the boy. So he wanted to know that we should not go in that direction. So we should go take directly back. But being a mother, <coughs> Parvati, <coughs> she could not tolerate the suffering of the boy. Boy was crying and immediately both approached there. And mother of Parvati asked, my dear boy, from here you came here. How come that you are crying? <coughs> so that boy replied that, Mother, I was traveling in this track of land with my parents, but somehow or other, I missed the way. How could I have? I am separated here, and I don't know about my parents, where they have gone. And I am traveling since many, many days in this track of land. I am completely tired and hungry. At that time, Lord Shiva said, that, okay, I, can't, I can't believe this ordinary boy. But Mother Parvati was so affectionate towards the boy, she asked what we can do for you. Then boy told her, okay, one thing you can do, uh, that I am completely tired, I want to take rest. So Mother Parvati immediately lifted the boy in her lap and took the house and the made bed and boy was sleeping. Boy started to take rest and in the meantime Shiva and Ayat Parvati they went, went to take bath. When they took bath and returned back, <coughs> so from inside all the doors were locked, they bolted from within, in, from inside. They came and they are knocking the door, but there no response was coming from inside. Eventually from some window they saw that their boy was not identified by the Vishnu himself, and uh, they were requesting, this is our place, our abode, we want to enter. No, no, 
once I occupy this place, I am not going to leave. It is your lookout now, where you will go. But this place, once given to me, it's final. I will not leave this place. Then Shiva become very much disappointed that what we can do. We did the mistake. I was, <laughs> Shiva was so chastising Parvati, you foolish lady. You don't know the trick of Vishnu. Yes, we lost our whole existence, our whole our abode. And then they become very much disappointed and they went to Kedarnath. Tomorrow we are going to Kedarnath. So that is the become place of Lord Shiva and this is occupied by, encroached by Lord Vishnu. The Parikrama Party then heads to Haridwar in the Badrinath area. On the way back to the camp, the devotees stop at a temple of Yoga Maya. Back at the Badrinath temple, the devotees take breakfast. Kavi Chandra Maharaj serves oranges. In the afternoon, devotees gather on the banks of Tapasyakund, just beneath the Badrinath temple for Kirtan. Some of the men have water sports in the kund. 